Crystal Reports can use the semantic layer to allow you to easily create reports based on a range of data sources. In this tutorial, you will learn how the semantic layer works. Note that this tutorial is based on functionality that is available in SAP Crystal Reports 2011, version 14.0.0.760. To navigate, use the viewer controls. Corporate data is often stored in relational databases. This data contains valuable information, but not in a form that makes it easy to answer business questions, such as, which store generated the most sales revenue last year? To answer your questions, you would need to understand the technical details of the data source, as well as the meaning and significance of the data. The semantic layer acts as an intermediary between you and the data source. It takes complex data and represents it as objects, named using common business terms, allowing you to work with the data without requiring you to understand all the technical details. The semantic layer is created using the Universe Design tool, by a designer who understands the data source. The objects are named, and then classified by data type. For example, character type data and dates are classified as dimensions, while numeric data subject to calculations are classified as measures. Once the objects have been defined, the semantic layer is saved as a file called the Universe and published to the BI platform. In Crystal Reports, you select the Universe file as a data source, and use the objects it contains to create reports. When you run the report, the application gathers the data from the original data source, and displays it in the report. You have successfully reviewed how the semantic layer works. This is the end of the tutorial.